Welcome to Web API Tutorials. This is part 20 HTTP delete in Web API. When we were discussing about the routing concept, we have already written the endpoint for HTTP delete. In this video, I will just explain and execute it. If you want to define an action for delete activity, we need to decorate that method with HTTP delete. And this is the route for that. The resulted route will be like this API student delete then id this is the name for that particular route and name is not mandatory you can also delete this part no issues coming into the method if we want to identify a student and delete we need id at least that's why we are accepting one parameter from the client once the id is received we are validating if the id is invalid less than or equal to zero we are sending that request once the validation is done we are trying to identify the student based on the id from students repository once the student is retrieved we are validating it if the student is equal to null then we are sending not found with error message and if the student is there then we are removing that particular student from the store then we are returning okay success status code let us run this and see it in action here we can see there is a new endpoint for delete. This is the route as we have discussed. Before deleting any student, let me see how many students are there in the repository. There are two students. I want to delete student number two. So I am providing the student number two. I am clicking on execute. We got 200 OK response and the output is true. Let me go back to the get all method and execute. We can see there is only one student available as the second one is deleted. For more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.